maybe we'll uh, sit for a minute and just sitting with no kind of agenda or even technique necessarily just taking rest I was telling the class on Saturday we did a day long on emptiness and one of my favorite words, you know, meditation is one of those words that means nothing. Um, just because it's so vague as to be not helpful. But uh, it was shared on Saturday that one of my favorite uh, words that gets translated as meditation a lot is in Tibetan, and the word is gom. And gom in Tibetan colloquially means meditation, but the literal word is familiarization. It's just meeting what is arising with your full attention without getting hooked in the content, without deciding that this is unacceptable to be going on in your head right now, or Oh good, you're doing good. Now it has to stay this way forever. The word in Pali that the Buddha historically used is sati sambhajana, which means attending to closely, intimately, without critique or judgment, clearly knowing. So I invite you to sit in such a way that your skeletal structure can hold you upright. And maybe if you drove here, take a minute to roll your shoulders back and roll your neck. Or if you, know, you store tension in your shoulders and neck like a lot of us do, take a minute. <clears throat> a movie. I invite you to just notice what's arising for you right now in the field of your precious body. within this field of your awareness, lucid, open, totally available. Again, I invite you to let go of any technique, any process or practice, and just rest. Just watch, just be present to, in great tenderness and acceptance.
from the sensations that are arising in our precious body. Including the sounds from outside this room, from inside this room. Feelings and thoughts. Everything is waiting for you. Everything presents itself to be known and loved by you. And that's just as true everywhere else in your life as it is here.